What's up guys? Woo! I'm excited about this one. It's a great way to train and really challenge yourself or your clients. This is my Despocito burner. So everything we're doing is so slow. It's annoyingly slow, all right? It's gonna kill. Use your knees if you need to. I know I will be, I'm still building my strength back. So this is good for beginners, for advanced. Everyone's gonna find this hard. This is a phase four. All right, so we're gonna get right to it. We're on the mat the whole time. We're going 10 different types of abs. Sorry, 10 reps of abs, 10 push-ups, okay? Three rounds of the abs, one round of push-ups. Three abs, one push-up, just like that, okay? So let's get right to it. Oh, everything's so slow. Okay, so starting with some cross touch. Let's go 10 of them. One, really slow. Two. Really slow on the way up, really slow on the way down. Four. Four sets. Five, count one of the legs. Really slow. If your clients or you are going fast, slow it down. Six. Slow, 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 slow. Seven. I make this a phase four because it's so slow. It's a great way to burn it out at the end of a workout. When your clients think they haven't done enough, you bust out the slow abs and slow push-ups. Last one here. And down slow. Okay, now we're gonna hold this one up. It's gonna be a couple pulses slow. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten, nine, eight. Breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right in a butt lift. So you're gonna pop your butt up and down slow. Stop it in its tracks. No swinging. Let's go for 10. 10. Nine. Really control the down. Eight. Normally we just kind of drop, right? Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, bring this up. We're gonna go slow circles. 10 to the right, 10 to the left. Really slow. Everything you do, when you go slow, you feel more. These are burning. If I just busted through these quick, it wouldn't be burning as much as it is now. Let's go four more. Three. Two. One more. One, and then the other way. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more. I combo these up in a certain way so it'll really burn the abs. So there's a method to my madness here. Last one, one. All right, flip it over. Push-ups, first round is staggered push-ups. So one arm's gonna be up by your shoulder, one arm's down by your hip, and then every single time you switch, and we're going really slow. So use your knees, use your feet, whatever you gotta do. So basically, one's here, one's there. Okay, so slow. And up slow, and then switch. Keep those hands facing forward, elbow back, and up slow. Here. I'm using my knees, but I'm going to go really slow. And if your clients aren't going slow or they're not getting low, then tell them to get to their knees because I'm really feeling this this way. Opposed to using my feet and only going halfway. Let's go. Two more. Slow, 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 slow. And up slow. Last one. And let's bring one more down and hold it down there. Okay, just hold. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Ugh. All right, back to the abs. We're going bicycle abs. Okay, lay you down. Support your head and your neck. And we twist for 10. Six. Nine. Eight. Hold it, squeeze it tight and twist. I'm flexing my quad, I'm flexing my hamstring, my calf. So, four more sets. Squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, last set. All right, right into opposite toe touch crunches. So touch and then touch, nice and slow. All right, ready? Let's go. Hold it at the top a little. Really squeeze. It's okay to make some noise. So each round of abs has like a cross the ab move, the lower ab move, and an upper ab move. You want to think that way when you're planning your workout. All right. Last part of this round, big scissors, slow. Flex your quad, flex your leg. Remind your clients of that, okay? Not just throwing those legs around. Squeeze, flex, switch. Squeeze, flex, switch. Couple more. Halfway. Three. Two. Last one. One. All right, good. Back to the push-up now. Keep my mat clean. Circle push-ups. So we're going to circle to the right, then we're going to circle to the left. That's one. Okay? Belly button nose right down. Focus on your back, your chest, your core, and your arms. Let's go. One. You go a little wider with your hands, wider than shoulder width. Two. Slow. Three. Four. Oof. So, so slow. So hard. Five. And the six. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Last move here. 
Overhead. 10. 10 each side. 9. Slow. 8. I can't say that enough. You gotta keep reminding your clients that too. Normally we, you know, kind of go like this. We're throwing them. The slow stuff is just so much harder. It shocks your muscles, your body. It's gonna help those results. Let's go four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Other side. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Ooh, that fan feels good. It's hot out here today. Six to go. Six. Make sure you're breathing. Five. Always remind your clients to breathe in, breathe out on the way down. Let's go last three. Two more. Two. And last one. One. All right, push up. We're going wide push ups. So if you're using your feet or your knees, you get them wide. I'm going knees. So I'm getting my knees wide, my arms wide, and I mean wide. Slow, let's go. 10. Nine, four, eight, seven, six. I'm still getting my belly button nose to the ground. Five, four, three, two. Hold one down. Five, four, three. Two, one, ah. All right, we are going. That's the three rounds of the abs and push-ups. We're gonna go as many push-ups as we can until we can't anymore, okay? Just a regular speed. So I'm gonna bust out as many as I can right now. Then we're gonna do a little plank move and that's it. That's phase four. Great finisher for your workout. All right, let's go push-ups to finish. As soon as your clients are losing their form or not getting low enough, get them down to those knees. They're not girl push-ups, it's just so they can keep going. It's better than just stopping. Breathe in and out. Remind them they're working their chest, they're working their back, they're working their arms, they're working their core. A couple more. We got this. I'm gonna do a couple more. Remember, this is the desolate seat to a burner. You gotta burn it out. Your clients think the workout's on this time, but you best out the despacito, and they're like, what the heck? This is amazing. This trainer's on fire. When they think she's done enough, she does more. Uh, and if you're just joining me at home doing this, then that's great. You can do this video two, three times in a row, mix it in with some cardio. Oh, I got two more in me. Uh-oh. It'd be funny if it was a Despacito song. Okay. That would be. It's a ghost. Or Ted Dudley. One. All right. We're going to finish with a little plank hold. Okay? Ready? 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. For those beginners, or if they can't, knees. Let's go, 15 seconds. 10, five, four, three, two, don't let them touch. 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left, and we're done. Arm in the air, squeeze your lats together at the back. My shoulder's always over my elbow. Halfway. 10. Five. And lastly, my other side. Halfway. 10. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, 
So that is phase four, despacito workout. My abs are on fire, my core and chest is on fire. That is a great way to finish a workout. If you want more like stuff about that, different ways you can combo it up, make it harder, make it easier, or the full written blueprint that you can print off and bring to class, click the link below, we'll bring you there, and you'll get this great package to bring right to your class with them, okay? Something I wanna tell for the trainers, if your clients are coming to you and they just had babies, because uh, it's something I wanted to know as a trainer, and this is a great tip, not just, even if you're a guy trainer, you should know this, okay? So when a woman's coming back from having a baby, they can't just jump in and do any abs, because if their abs have separated, then there's moves you need to do, and you can Google that, or maybe I'll make a video one day. But for them to check, tell them to get down, knees up, you're not doing a crunch. You're just gonna lift your head up, keep my shoulders down, and feel. And you can feel all the way down like a gap. So right now I can feel a gap, and I have a one finger gap. But if they can fit two fingers, or four, or up to ten fingers, that means their abs have separated, and definitely keep them from doing some abs because you do not want to hurt your clients. So this is a great tip for all trainers to know. Have them lift their head, arms straight, and feel. I can feel a line all the way down, it's just a little tiny gap. Okay? Good? So, thanks for watching guys. Check that phase out below, and we'll see you guys back here next week for another amazing phase workout. All right, thanks for watching. Peace out.